Hello and welcome to 3 Minute History with Mr Matt Paul. Today we're going to look into something very interesting. It's going to be especially good for A-level students or GCC students who are higher achieving and we're going to look at the theory of historical materialism. Now really this is derived from a Marxist uh, dialectic or analysis of history and that is to say a Marxist viewpoint of why historical phenomena occur, particularly um, assessing the causality, the causation, the causes of events in history. Now, you don't actually have to be a card-carrying member of the Communist Party to subscribe to historical materialism, although, of course, almost all Marxists do. There are some on the right wing who use this as a mechanism to analyse history. So without further ado, let's kind of get to it. So as a historical materialist or a social economic historian, what I would do is look at events in history and look at the consequences or causes of said events. So, for instance, one of the big ones that jumps out of us is the Wall Street crash of 1929. Now, if you look at the Wall Street crash of 1929, what happens when we have economic depressions and recessions is that <clears throat> the social economic situation in a society becomes quite perilous and therefore there is chaos and discordance and this eats its way into the political arena. Now, if we look at 1929, the Wall Street crash, most adept historians and even amateur historians would know that this was a key cause for the rise of the Nazi party in Germany in 1933. Now, why was this? Well, it was because Obviously, the German government, the Weimar government, was dependent on American loans for the uh, the young plan, uh, and this this crash meant that the Americans had to call those loans in, which led to a run on the German banks, which led to a massive depression in Weimar Germany. Now, that then led to many Germans becoming polarised by that process and electing the Nazi Party. Now, what is quite interesting about being a social economic historian or a historian who follows this historical uh, materialist line is that you notice that there are grand patterns in history, and one of them is from the Long Depression, 1873. Now, why this is so fascinating to me is because after 1873, what we see is a great expansion in European colonialism, which follows a more kind of extremist, more militaristic line of thinking. Now, this is very similar to actually Nazi ideology, you know, conquest. Uh, viewing people in the outgroup as less than yourself, racial hierarchies emerging. So <clears throat> obviously these are not good things, but as a social economic historian, as a historian who's, who's into this uh, materialism, you begin to understand the root causes of why historical phenomena occurs. And this is very interesting, and I might do another video on this topic.